our college, the Murrow College, we have this, you know, really prestigious communication program. Without a daily paper, how, how can we say that we're really training journalists to do this job in the real world? This paper is a huge part of establishing great future journalists. Uh, so my name is Gabriela Ramos. I am the outreach coordinator currently, um, but I also work as the Mint editor. I'm from Chicago. I moved here because I wanted to go to a college with a daily newspaper and work at that daily newspaper. It was a big draw to come to Washington State from, you know, across the country, knowing that there was this program here. We have a long-standing tradition of being a pretty well-recognized paper. Essentially what happened is that we just ran out of money and we used to have this huge reserve fund that we kept pulling out of and kept pulling out of and at the end of the semester we were going to have completely drained our reserves. The reason why we were able to even sustain ourselves through this semester is because we already made a lot of internal cuts. Basically what was going to happen was we were going to drop one day of production so that means that we would have gone to four days a week. No one would have gotten paid for Friday. It would have been cutting back student wages by 20%. We are gonna completely have to cut the Summer Evergreens production. And then we really didn't know what the fall was gonna look like. We could just stay weekly like we are in the summer into the fall and just publish one day a week, which would be so unfortunate. Or we could be two days a week or three days a week, just depending on what our finances allowed. And we were gonna have to figure that all out. And so that's kind of what got us to the point where we're like, we have to find another source of revenue for the office to keep this thing afloat. So we decided to ask all of the students for a $5 fee per semester. So, you know, we went through the whole process of drafting up the referendum and it was unanimously voted onto the ballot by ASWCU and then we presented it to GPSA. And it wasn't unanimously voted onto the ballot, but it was voted onto the ballot. So we kind of sat in a room and brainstormed ideas for how we were going to go about raising awareness. Madison and I designed the buttons. You know, just, just something to put in people's hands, something people can wear on their backpacks so that everyone knows what's going on without us having to, you know, get in their face and tell them what's going on. Just maybe to make people ask questions about why they're wearing it. I like showed up at like 7 because I wasn't working that night. I like thought that we were going to know by like 7.30 because that's when voting closed or 8 o'clock or whatever it was. And we didn't know until like almost 9.30. So we were all just waiting around. We were like pacing the room, like just literally counting down the seconds of finding out. Find out from one of our reporters that is posted on Twitter. So we're all on Twitter all of a sudden looking to see at the results and it said 50.8%. Everyone was really excited. It was super, super exciting. I was pretty emotional about it for sure. So yeah, we accomplished that and hopefully no one will ever have to worry the way that we have had to for the past years. We're proud of ourselves. I'm proud of everyone who was involved.